that. This is my little renegade patch, my trouble patch. <laughs> anyway, I'm not gonna go on about that, but uh, anyway, I got potatoes. Look at that, they are massive. These are my North Dakota potatoes from Sputtack. Um, and there's potatoes. I planted um, uh, these are pink beans along this, this edge. And then in here I just planted them throughout the, um, this cabbage bed, cabbage patch. Mm, look at this one, it's growing fantastically well. Um, there were a couple that uh, got chewed up or something, disappeared. So I just replaced them today. There's one, two, and um, where's the third one over there? Three. Um, so there's like a row of cabbages and two rows of cabbages, and then there's another third one right there. And in between there's uh, pink beans. Over here, look at this corn, man. It's looking really fantastic. Um, peas didn't really do that well in this patch. I planned, I mean, the whole bed was just peas, but whatever. I mean, a few are okay. Um, you know, I should be able to get something out of those. But, um, anyway, so I also planted in here some, um, blue cocoa pole beans to, to climb up the, um, the corn. But unfortunately, I don't see any of them coming up yet. Those were old seeds, so um, if they don't come up in the next week or so, I'll probably come back with some fresher seeds to put in there. But, um, you know, in the meantime, I'm pretty pleased with the corn. I threw some uh, fertilizer on them, some uh, worm casting type fertilizer. Um, there's a sunflower there. It's a few sunflowers. I planted seeds. I planted seeds all along the edge here, but only a few came up. One, two, three, and I think there's, yeah, there's four right there. So whatever, it's okay. Meanwhile, I have, um, this is, that should be, um, Kakai pumpkin. And over here, oh my goodness, is it gone? Oh no, there was um, there's another pumpkin that I planted over here. Rats, I don't know what happened to it. It must have gotten eaten up by something. Okay, so I guess I'll have to probably replace that. Oh yeah, so in the meantime, I also wanted to show you these artichoke plants. I planted them along the edge. Um, Hoping that my strategy would be to um, keep any kind of uh, human predators from getting into the cabbage patch by uh, being deterred with uh, the prickly artichoke spines. Because once they get bigger, they're going to be really troublesome. They're already kind of troublesome now. If you touch them, those little edges are, are spiny see here but anyway artichokes get really big they you know if you grow them in California and places like that where the, the conditions are ideal they get to be like six feet tall six feet wide and they grow perennially they come back every year <laughs> last year was the first year when I was able to actually get an artichoke to, to make a fruit for me to fruit for me and um, and grow to any substantial size. I mean, they didn't get that much bigger, but um, they did okay. Anyway, I'm seeing some stuff that I'm not appreciating. <laughs> anyway, um, whatever. Let me stop getting distracted. Um, so yeah, it's it's raining again. It just seems like May has been like a really really rainy month, and um. And it's actually been very cool as well. I mean, you see me with my little 
my little uh, crocheted beret on my head. It's very much needed right now. I have a scarf around my neck. Um, anyway, um, I had a couple other chores to do and I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do it. If it's going to rain. Because I'm not really prepared for that. Um, anyway, let me see if I can show you anything interesting on the other side. It's raining. And so, of course, I can't, uh, I don't want to hold this, this camera out for too long. <laughs> so, this is looking good. This corn is just going all right. Um, I just discovered something. When I uh, planted those things that I thought were um, jumbo lima beans, it turns out that it's, it was peeled fava beans. So, that's what's cropping up. That's what's coming up out of... Um, I saw another one in here somewhere. I can't find it now. But anyway, um, and also over here, a lot of my garlic is uh, it's flopping over, which means that these uh, heads should be ready pretty soon. Hopefully, um, hopefully after this rain, it won't be too much rain for a little while, so that I can uh, harvest my garlic um, most of it is still standing up though so but the thing about it is that when you wait for the ones that are standing up to flop by the time the ones that flop first you know you're looking for them then you can't find them because the tops are disintegrated these over here are looking all right still they don't look like they're ready to come down anytime soon as you can see all these weeds are getting kind of thick I gotta take care of that stuff but in there are um, some bindweed these things are everywhere um, but anyway there's this, these tomatoes I planted a row of tomatoes and then there's this knotweed I just have to pull Anyway, chop and drop. Um, yeah, that makes good, um, good compost in place. Um, so yeah, the tomatoes are doing okay. Oh no, what's that? See those little spots? I think that's verticillium. That's not good. Um, I haven't had that in a little while. In any case, yeah, there's all this, all these tomatoes. See how blue that is? This is indigo rose. And um, it's a nice potato right there. I pulled some um, some of this artemisia. What do you call it? <laughs> uh, mugwort. I pulled some mugwort. This is over here in the path. This is the common path. And um, I threw it on the, sort of in the path that's over here. So anyway, it's disintegrating. It's gonna feed my little tomatoes over time. Meanwhile, I have all this vegetation, all this wildness, which I still haven't decided what I'm gonna do with it. I'm pretty sure I'm just gonna leave the cornflowers grow. And uh, this here is like a little patch where I had tomatoes last year. I haven't quite decided what to put there yet. I mean, I don't know, because I had a lot of things that failed that I was planting, planning on putting there. I think I wanted to put onions. I didn't get as many onions as I hoped. Um, and then this here, this empty space, I'm hoping to put sweet potatoes. Oh boy, the rain is really coming down now. And um, one of um, the garden neighbors was trying to be kind. I'm not sure if he was really trying to be kind, but he um, he wiped out about a foot and a half of my my garden space here. There were some cornflowers, which I'm not too upset about, but in here there was at least one potato plant which he did knock down and there were some little carrot plants which 
you know, they're kind of small, but I'm pretty sure he knocked them down too. So, if I see him, I'll, I'll be sure to wring his neck. I'm kidding. Um, but anyway, I'll definitely have to talk to him about that because it's not the first time he's done that. It's not the first year he's done that. Uh, he's got an OCD issue. And uh, so, you know, he hates to see all this, all these wheezes. This is wilderness. It's making him crazy. So, I have to, um, I mean, granted, yeah, I want to pull all these weeds, clean it up, see what's in there for myself. I see all kinds of interesting things. There's carrots that I planted. There's marigolds that came in from last year. There's potatoes from last year. You know, spinach is over there and it's going to seed already, unfortunately. Anyway, like I said, it's really raining now and I don't want my camera to get wet. I'm standing underneath a peach tree, but it's not going to work for too much longer. <laughs> anyway. Thanks for watching. Alright, it's still raining. I'm over here because this little nub right here caused me to fall a couple of days ago. Um, I don't know if you saw before, but I have like a scar up here and this thing here and scratches on my cheek. My cheek. Um, because I, I tripped over that thing. I snagged my, uh, my pant leg. And I fell on this, this big old log, this fallen tree. Um, I hit my face and my head on this thing and it, like I said, it scratched me up pretty good. So, I decided the first thing when I came in here next time, I would, I would cut that down because, cut that little, that little finger off because, uh, trouble. Anyway, that's all I have to say about that. It's still raining, so I'm out of here. Bye!